SAP Business One version 9.1 and forward has enhanced the email functionality with more options for sending documents such as invoices to customers and other business partners. We are going to review the email functionality of bulk sending of customer statements. Let's get started. First, SAP Business One provides you two ways to get to the same report. First, you're able to click on Business Partners, Business Partner Reports, Aging, and select Customer Receivables Aging. We are also able to get to the same report in a different way. By going back to our main menu and clicking on Financials, Financial Reports, Accounting, Aging, and again, Customer Receivables Aging. In the Customer Receivables Aging window, the system defaults to Customer. You are able to select a code from and to from Business Partner's perspective. You're also able to use Customer Group or Apply Properties. Next, we'll use the aging date, in our case, today's date, and the intervals we want to show in the details. We are able to use days, months, or periods. In our case, we're going to be using days. The details will show 30, 60, 90, 120, and 120 plus days. Make sure that your aging date is the same as your posting to date. You're also able to choose the due date from and to, and the document date from and to if you wish. Make sure that the display customers with zero balance checkbox is selected. Once you have selected your criteria, Click OK. Here we have the System Customer Receivables Aging Report, which shows the customer's balance and the length of time that the debt has remained unpaid. Here we have MaxiTech, Acme, Parameter, River, Microchips, Earthshaker Corporation, Machina, and ADA Technologies. Choosing the business partner from the list it is not a requirement. However, you are able to select individual business partners and only send emails to those selected business partners. First business partner and holding control. That way I can choose which ones I would like to send the emails to. The ones that show in yellow are the only ones that would be receiving said emails. A different way that I can do this is also selecting the shift button. If I select the very first one and would like to select a range of business partners, I can click on shift and clicking on the last business partner in the range. All in between are selected. In our case, I would like to send to all of them. Next, we're going to select File, Send, and here we have two options that SAP Business One provides. This is dependent on your company settings, which would be either having SAP Business One Mailer as the sender of said emails, or Outlook Email. In my case, I have set as Outlook Email. If you are unsure of which email service is configured for the company, navigate to Administration, System Initialization, and General Settings, and under the Service tab, you will see the default email method. Again, in our case, we have Outlook Email selected. By clicking Outlook Email, SAP Business One provides me with the Email Options window. In the Emails Options window, here we have Send Customer Statement Report to the respective business partner. And in our case, we would indeed would like to use email groups. Under the email groups groups, we have Accountants, Executive Team, Finance Team, Logistics, and Sales. I'll show you in a minute how to get to that information from the business partner's perspective. In our case, we would like the accountants to be receiving the emails. Therefore, I'll select Accountants. By clicking OK, we have the Email Customer Receivables Aging window. As you can see, we have the customer vendor name, the source path for the file, the file name, the attachment date. The to column indicates the contact person that is assigned to the accounting group from the business partner master data. Notice that on line one and two for customer C20,000, we have two contacts connected to the email group of accountants. We have contact Amanda and we also have Jennifer. In this case, both will be receiving the same file. We still have missing the subject and body of said emails. First, I will verify that number six of our list does not have currently a contact selected. The reason for that is because business partners, we do not have a contact assigned to the accountant's email group. We can verify that by golden arrow into the business partner itself and clicking on the contacts person. 
Here for microchips, we have Judy Brown and Megan. Judy, as you can see, is selected for the executive team. Megan is also selected to the executive team. That is not a problem, as we are also able to review this information prior to sending and selecting a suitable contact person. For microchips, we're able to click on the globe and select the most appropriate contact person to be receiving the customer receivables aging. In this case, I'm going to select Judy Brown as she is the chief operation officer. As a sales manager, I don't believe Megan is the suitable contact person. We are missing now the subject and email body lines. By double clicking the subject, we are able to either manually customize the email subject line or insert predefined texts. I'll be selecting the predefined text receivables aging one as my subject line, which reads customer statement as of May 2nd, 2021. Next, we're going to work on the email body. The same is true that we are able to double click on the body and customize the email as per our choosing. Differently, we're also able to click and insert a predefined text. For the email body, we'll be using the Receivables Aging 2 predefined text, which reads, please find attached to this email the Receivables Aging as of May 2nd, 2021. Thank you for your business. Best, Jason Butler, OEC Computers. I'll be adding the information to the remaining rows. Now that we have selected and included the subject and body lines for all the rows, we are now able to click on Send. By clicking on the Send button, Outlook Email will be sending all the emails at once to the selected business partner contacts. By navigating to the Outlook Send folder, we are able to see the emails that were sent to the business partner contacts. Here we have eight business partners, however, we have nine emails sent. That is because on our first business partner, we had Amanda and Jennifer receiving the same email with the same file. By selecting and double-clicking on the file, we'll be able to review the customer receivables aging for ADA technologies. Here we have our contact Mary Brown and the invoices that are still outstanding. Under the details, we have the 0 to 30, 31 to 60, 61 to 90, 91 to 120, in 121 plus days. This concludes the presentation on the email functionality of the bulk sending of customer statements in SAP Business One. Document emailing is just one example of how you can better utilize SAP Business One to help you perform your daily workflows more efficiently and easily. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.